Walker. When he makes this break, See ya. this guy is even further up the field for an easy one play touchdown. The reason this play works so well is because the play recognition just seems to glitch out. As you can see right here, this safety is dropping down in a way that he thinks it's a run play, even though there's a receiver coming right across his face and catching the ball for an easy one play touchdown. For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back Money Team, this is Mad Money Shot, sniffing the Mad Cheese as always. Got part 2 of my Madden 24 Glitch Route series. This is a video series that I started last year and it was very popular, so I'm trying to do this at least once a month. And since I just dropped my brand new Philadelphia Eagles and Indianapolis Colts offensive ebooks, I'm going to choose all 5 routes that I go over today from these 2 playbooks. So as always, if you guys want to see more from this series, make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, leave it in the comment section. As like I said, I will be doing this once a month. If you missed the first video, I think I put that out for my other ebooks. I think it was the Saints, Broncos, and uh, Jets. Uh, it was kind of a combination of all three because it was the first one of the year. I'll have a link in the description as well as an on-screen pop at the end of the video. So if you want to go back and check that out. And if you guys want more help or more money plays just like this, all you have to do is check out my ebooks. Links in the description or the top end comment. Just click on those links and you can download them instantly to your phone or laptop. Now in these videos, I typically like to focus on man-beating routes because those are the ones that are the most unique. And the first one I'm going to show you guys is out of the Gun Bunch Strong Nasty. And and that is the wide trail. Now, a lot of times I like to pick plays and routes that work well against cover zero, but this one really should work well against that as well as cover one hole. Cover one is actually one of the harder plays to hit a one play touchdown against, and that's most, mostly because the safety does a pretty good job of cutting off these routes. You can always put somebody on a streak to try to pull that uh, deep coverage safety back, but this particular play doesn't really need this adjustment. I'll show you, even with that, you can see how the, it doesn't work. It doesn't get across the cornerback. Nothing really works there. But the X route is actually that can get over one for an easy one play touchdown, just as long as I run it from a hash mark to the short side of the field. And now since the safety is uh, responsible for the entire deep center and half of the field, he's not going to react as quickly when it comes to picking up this route, making it an easy and natural cover one one play touchdown with no adjustments. And if we watch the route, we can see why this happens. Number one, we have inside leverage on the cornerback. And anytime you have inside leverage this severe, you're going to beat that cornerback across the field, no matter who's in coverage, whether it's Stefan Diggs who's a superstar, it doesn't matter. As you can see, the safety is more preoccupied with just getting back and getting depth than actually cutting off the route. This route is still effective if you want to run it from a hash mark to the open side of the field, but I find it just takes a lot longer to get across. But the same way, I mean, you can see that the safety is not really reacting. It can still score a one-play touchdown. So there's something specific about this route that's making the safety ignore it based off the fact that there are no other deep routes in the area. Next up, we're going to stick the gun formations, and I'm going to show you guys two plays out of the gun deuce close. The gun deuce close is probably one of the most notorious formations when it comes to glitch routes, especially when it comes to RPO plays like the RPO reflat wheel, which is the play we're going to go over next. Now, I just went ahead and just chose random defense because it really doesn't matter. Now, this play really has six options on it, but I find the only two you really need are the ones on the right side. So if you want to run this from a hash mark to the open side of the field, it probably makes the most sense. Now, the glitch route used to be the RB route, but they kind of patched that to an extent. I mean, it still gets open against a lot of different things, but I would say it's really a combination of these two routes. It's pretty much every one of them will get open every single time against man or zone. You really just have to watch both of them and hit the first one you see. Like right here, it looks like we have a man coverage. That B route's gonna get open every single time. And it's something where you could probably score pretty easily if I would have threw that a little bit uh, better timing. As you see right here, that looked like a cover one, but the safety glitched out and was running forward. I think the reason this play works so well is because the play recognition just seems to glitch out in these RPO plays based off the fact that it could be a run or pass. As you can see right here, this safety is dropping down in a way that he thinks it's a run play, even though there's a receiver coming right across his face and catching the ball for an easy one play touchdown. So to me, this issue is more a play recognition issue as this does have the ability to be a number of things. And you can see, like I said, once again, any man coverage, this route's going to be, you know, a possible one play touchdown. Next up, we have one of the best cover zero plays in the corner and goes. Now, this play is all man beaters as we have uh, what looks like spin digs at both tight end spots. So basically, you don't have to have like a one play touchdown or bust on this play as you can always take these check downs pretty much at any point throughout the route as they're open pretty much the entire time because the way that the computer's programmed is they, they know it's coming. So I can throw it the second that they break out. I can throw it when they come back in. 
it's something that you know the computer has to respect the fact that it can go in or out to the point where they really don't cover it at all but the title of this video i'm sure is going to be something like glitch routes that score one play touchdowns so we're going to focus on the x route and the b route the x route really is the route for this play as you can put him on a smart route and shorten it to the point where it makes it much more deceptive for the um, for the cornerback in coverage for whatever reason the b route does not really do that as you can see it does shorten but it doesn't work the same way so like i said i'll show you them both but the x route's really the play as you can see here i mean he's gone within about 15 yards although that was a horrible catch and run animation when he makes this break i mean number one Diggs was already biting on the out route but based off the fact that the cornerback gets in the way this guy is even further up the field for an easy one play touchdown now this route isn't always going to hit this is a, both of these routes really are like 50 50 but you can see once again like i said the b route doesn't shorten the same way that the x route does making it much less effective but you're really watching for those cornerbacks to bite if they don't bite they're going to get back in time to cover that play so you really have to watch to make sure that they bite before you make that throw what that bite looks like is basically if he tries to cut off the outside route as you can see right there he's shooting to the outside and when he turns up field you can see that the cornerback still going to the outside at this point if he's even he's leaving he just have to basically lob it up you can see the x route is very consistent you can see we get that look once again and it's even helped out by the fact that a lot of times uh the cornerback covering the tight end is going to have that issue where he gets in the way it makes it even easier next up we're going to stick to the bunch formations because i think that's why most people like these playbooks is because it has so many bunch formations and i'm going to move to the single back bunch now this has two different plays that are very successful against man coverage starting with the pa boot slide now the route that I'm going to focus on is going to be the B route. You can see any route that breaks twice is typically going to, um, you know, get open against man coverage. The A route does the exact same thing. It has two break points, making it a very easy route, especially for a check down against any man coverage. But if you want to play as capable of a one-play touchdown, the B route is going to be much better because since it's a much deeper route. So I'm putting the running back on a check and release just for blocking purposes. And then I want to make sure that I put the X route in something short because I don't want him pulling his man coverage defender back. I don't want to have to run around that player later. So I'm basically doing this setup here and you can see how this B route just basically gets right past his superstar cornerback for a very easy one-play touchdown that I pretty much threw within the first 10 to 20 yards. Against man cover one, you just have to have something pulling back that safety. For this play to work once again, and we just have to put the running back on something other than that play action because that's really the biggest issue i don't want him pulling me out like that and you can see it's going to be the exact same thing once again you can shorten the route that aj brown is running to try to help for catch and run space after the fact or you can just motion him in because at the end of the day i really do need something pulling back that safety anyway so this is going to be probably the best look and you can see how that b route is just having a ton of success getting across and we get a very easy one play touchdown simply by motioning in the x route and running the play exactly as it's designed next up we have another play from this formation but this one's going to be specifically for man cover zero and that is the pa pin deep and this particular route is really only going to work against cover zero so let's go and let's pick that once again there's really no setup required here you just have to hike the ball and once that b receiver breaks inside he's basically gone it's really that simple at any point in time that he breaks inside of that cornerback you're gonna have a very easy one play touchdown this is the only look where you would not want to throw that ball you can see once he gets outside here, he gets about 10 yards down the field that he actually runs into the cornerback i don't know if the cornerback interferes or what but i mean i don't know if this would be called in a game i really doubt it but at the end of the day if he does do that you can see how it forces him outside and since he's trying to break inside across the cornerback it's not going to work out so that's the one scenario where you wouldn't want to throw that ball but that's also pretty rare so if i'm watching this you can see right here it happens once again i mean pretty much every single time he's just going to run right across that cornerback's face just make sure that you watch long enough to make sure that he doesn't run into the cornerback and you have a very easy one play touchdown now the last play is in a very rare formation called the pistol u off stack and the play itself is going to be the red route in the double post this is another play that can work against any man coverage cover one or cover zero but it's only really going to be a one play touchdown against cover zero so let's go and let's pick the overstorm brave one more time all i really have to do is motion this route across and you can see we have another route that breaks twice anytime you have a route that breaks twice it's usually going to beat man coverage and when we throw this ball in the break i mean number one you can see the cornerback was never really close now we did have a man defender turned to a safety over on that side so it's going to be important to put the tight end in a check and release uh block of some kind i'm going to put him in a check and release cross because otherwise you can see how that safety over the top does get in the way so now that we have this set up i'm going to check and release my running back too like i said this is technically a setup but it's pretty just much just blocking and you can see how this x route is going to get wide open once again nothing's really going to break on that it doesn't matter who the cornerback is so we're going to do it one more time we'll try to get this one play here so i can end this vid 
on a proper note there you see we pass led up the field a little bit and that really was the key as we get an easy one play touchdown catch and run that like i said it'll be pretty instant just as long as you make the right throw so that's that's the video if you guys want to see more videos like this i will have the one that i made earlier last month popping up on screen but if you want to see me continue this series as always please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button let me know in the comment section i'll try to continue this at least once a month other than that i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching man Wish it out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below